Ladies and gents, welcome back to another flight sim video brought to you by Rib. Today we're going to talk performance. If you like me in the Facebook groups and the flights and Facebook groups and the Discord, you can you'd see nothing but DLSS4, DLSS4, how to install DLSS4, how to install DLSS4, how to set up DLSS4. Nothing but installs for DLSS4, um, DLSS bloody swapper, and video inspector and all the rest of it. So I just want to uh, put my little two pence in. So, previous to this PC, I had an old PC. It was an RTX 3090. It struggled a bit with um, with the flight sim. I've gone through the DLSS methods before, swapping DLSS on the swapper, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And I find it all to be a bit of a pain, to be honest. And then the, the, you're messing with the NVIDIA inspector and all your actual configs and files. It's an easy way of breaking things. And, uh, yeah. Something if you're not really tech savvy, you don't really want to be doing. So you you find yourself in having worse performance uh, than you started with a load of conflicting graphics drivers, and you've reinstalled, installed, reinstalled, installed on the Nvidia apps and all the drivers. My advice is, yeah, if you're at a, if you're at the stage where you've been messing around with this, that, and the other, you just can't get anything to work. It's uh, it's in a worse state. Your sim's in a worse state now as it as it what well, ever has been since you've been messing around with all the settings with the video inspector, with swappers, with DLSS, and all the rest of it. What you want to do? Download the Nvidia app. So the Nvidia app, not GeForce Experience, the Nvidia app. Uh, download this. When you go to set this up, obviously you're going to click yes. I've already got it set up, and I don't really want to. Don't really want to mess my settings. Once you get to hit that sweet spot, you want to leave it. So download the NVIDIA app, okay? You're gonna select game driver. There's a studio driver and a game driver. You're gonna set up your game driver. When you get to the point where it's gonna ask you for the express installation or a custom inst installation, you're gonna to go to the custom installation. The reason being, the custom has exactly the same as the express. It's got all the necessary files and configs you need for the install. However, you've got an option at the bottom of the custom installation, which is gonna be install a clean the clean version meaning if you do the clean clean install it's going to delete anything in the video that you've already messed with and it's just going to put you a nice clean install which helped me on my previous pc big time i'd messed around with that much nvidia inspectors and in the bloody control panel of the nvidia control panel and then with all the dlss swapper and I found myself in a worse position than I had been before I even tried to do all that. So my advice, clean installation of the NVIDIA app. Don't mess around with all the NVIDIA inspectors and all that if you're not too tech savvy and you're not too sure what you're doing because you're going to find yourself in a worse position than it was. If you're using a 30 series card, the only one thing I'd say to do is do this frame generation because as you can see, uh, I go from... Uh, let me get back a bit. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, oh, oh. We go from 52 FPS, yeah. FPS, and you will see it jumps double straight away. So this is the frame generation. It's just dropping two files into your install of your flight sim. So if you're using a 30, 30 series card, I do recommend this video. I'll put this video in the link down below. That's for the 30 series. But this installation is still going to apply uh, probably to you guys. If you want to start everything clean and get, to, get it back to as it was. But with some decent performance. Okay, so next thing, you've got it installed. You've used the custom installation. You've done the clean clean install option in the custom installation option then you're going to go to your nvidia app it's going to look like this graphics one massive thing that helped me uh with my i know a lot of simmers out there uh say don't don't use this as a guide like go into the go into the game well go into the sim and change the settings yourself but i find this is a good base if yours doesn't say optimize then reinstall the NVIDIA app. Just do the same procedure again. Go to your control panel, uninstall the NVIDIA app, reinstall the NVIDIA app, and hopefully your game will say optimize. Okay? If it doesn't, you might have to go on the game first. Uh, it took me a, quite a while to get the game to appear there. I'm not going to lie, but uh, I got it all back to as it was. And it gives you your current values and then the preview of what it's going to recommend. Okay, so once it says optimize, click optimize. This helped my performance drastically, drastically on my previous PC, big time. And then from there, I'll go into the game and like the traffic, etc. Because I fly on Vatsim, I'll turn all that off. But I'll have all the presets that have been recommended by previous um, all gamers, etc. 
I love all the other pre uh, all the other presets, but I'll have a little edit and check turn off this and that. Uh, but I'm, this helped big time. I helped on the uh, my new build. Helped on my old build. The optimize, make the most of it, use it. Okay, so another thing that a little bit of advice. I'm using a forty ninety right now. Um, but down here, if you have this option, if you're on a forty series card. DLSS override models preset instead of using all that DLSS swapper and going into your NVIDIA inspector then you got the custom names file don't be doing any of that well you're just gonna you're just gonna end up in a more of a mess than you are uh, make sure you click this one use different settings for each DLSS technology and go to latest that's all I've done here click apply uh, and the other thing I changed power management I changed it from I think it was using uh, normal before it's now prefer maximum performance and so when i'm on the flight sim it's going to give me maximum performance and in the global settings uh, so this is global settings for everything just make sure it's on maximum performance for when you're when you're gaming okay i don't really mess with anything if you don't know it i don't mess with it i'm getting really i'm i mean with the 4090 at gatwick with the airport scenery in the phoenix in 4k Triple screen, I'm getting 60 FPS. More than happy with that. Smooth as. It's all about being smooth. No stutters, nothing like that. Um, so yeah, once you find that sweet spot, just don't mess with it. Us flight simmers, we love fiddling and messing, fiddling. Try not to. Find that sweet spot and leave it. Uh, I also use vertical sync. If you ever see any little like screen tears or anything, but I use 60 hertz monitors. Yep, I know, with the dark ages, so... My V-Sync is on. So basically all I did to fix all my issues on my previous PC after messing around with the NVIDIA inspectors and DLSS swappers and all that sort of stuff, whether I was doing it wrong or whether I, I'm not, yeah, not 100%, but this is what put me back right. I was doing the clean install in the NVIDIA app um, in the custom installation, not the Express, the custom installation, clean install. You'll see the option. Then like I say, Make sure you optimize your game and go into the game. And like, for instance, I turned off the traffic, turned off uh, motion blur. There's a couple of things I turned off, but in, in general, it's, it's choosing all the, the settings it wants me to use. And performance is great. This, this optimize section works really, really well on the old PC and the new PC. I use it as my like base, what it wants me to use with a couple of edits. But then down here, I make sure you're on the latest DLSS. And you're on prefer maximum performance. That's helped my, myself out, my old PC out, and my friend's PC. Just to get everything back to how it should be. No loads of conflicting files and not messing with settings you don't know what you're doing. There's a million videos out there right now. DLSS4, DLSS, but you've got to remember a lot of them are clickbait, etc. And people are just trying to get them views. But this is to get you, hopefully you get a bit, 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 better performance if you have a clean install, optimizing your game. Maximum performance, latest DLSS, and that's it. And obviously, if you're using the 30 series card, this is just a drag and drop explaining in this video how to do it. But yeah, let me know if it helps below. Take care, amigos. Unlike the others, this isn't how to set up DLSS 4. four, uh, four. This is how to bloody just fix your PC and get it running well, I hope. All right, take care, everybody. Peace out. Adios. Like, subscribe. Peace, peace.